Hello everybody, my name is Walter and this is episode 64 of my recent command series. In this episode I want to briefly cover the recently introduced rotate command. Now, as the name implies, you can use this command to change the rotation of an entity. This is very similar to what we could already achieve with the teleport command, but with two major differences. For one, we are not changing the position, and for the other, we can only target a single entity with this command. So if you want to target multiple entities at the same time, you will have to make sure you use, similarly to what we did with the data command, the execute as and potentially at command. Following that, let's talk about the syntax and a few examples. So the command always starts with its name rotate, and then we need to specify a single entity as the target. So we can use a unique identifier, a player name, or a target selector. In the latter case, you either must make sure you use one that is already limited to one, so nearest player, nearest entity, or you have to limit it to one yourself. After that, you have three options. The first is directly giving it a new rotation with your and pitch. This can be done with just numbers, or you can also go relative, which I have done in this example here. So here I'm executing as the nearest armor stand, and then very important for a relative uh, your and pitch later on, at self, which would be the armor stand. Otherwise, and those relative coordinates would be in relation to the command execution, which would be my position and my rotation. And then I'm just rotating the armor stand 10 degrees to the right. Before I do this though, let's activate the hitbox so we can see where it's looking. And I can see, each time I click the command, the armor stand is rotated a bit further. Second option is rotate then the target and then facing, followed by a triplet of coordinates, X, Y, Z. In this case, again, I'm executing as the nearest armor stand. In this case, I don't need the itself because this is properly calculated from the position of that entity. And then I use rotate at self, armor stand, facing 0, 0, 0 in this case. I could also use relative coordinates again, but it's not necessary. And you can see it's looking roughly over there. And the third option is facing entity followed by the entity, which must be again a single entity. So unique identifier, player name, target selector, limited to one. And optionally after that, you can define whether you want to look at the eyes or the feet of that entity. Important fact here, the facing is calculated from the feet of the entity itself. The default value is feet and it's usually what you want because if we now do this for the armor stand looking at the nearest player, which would be me. So rotate armor stand facing entity nearest player. You can see it's basically looking at my eyes. If I were to use the anchor eyes, it would actually look a couple meters above my head since uh, well, the facing rotation is calculated from the feet of that entity and then it makes sense to do this to my feet. Um, I'm not sure if that is a little bug because this command is pretty new or if this is intended behavior, but that is what it looks like at the moment. And with that, we've reached the end of this episode about the rotate command. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you a nice day and well, see you.